guys and welcome in this uh, tutorial so today uh, we will talk about the things that you need to know before you moving to the react uh, ecosystem or react uh, world so if you are come from background from another language or you are come from uh, 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 javascript just a normal javascript and you want to move to uh, use a react so there is the thing that you need to know and you need to master it because you will use it a lot so first one is the ternary operator so ternary operator is used uh, instead uh, it just used for a condition where uh, instead of using multiple multiple lines you use it in just in one line so a simple syntax here let's say that we have just say const uh, button label and here we will say if the playback let's say that we have an variable here so say uh, is a play back something so playback is uh, false maybe so and say if a playback then do something otherwise do another thing so this is uh, similarly to if condition else and then what we it's just we use it uh, inside in line uh, in one line so here with we can say the button label it will be I can use an emoji here where you said Luffy and then here you said like this so this is a normal syntax for a uh, react and it used a lot so i am in the Re create react app i'm going to the app here and i will show you how to use this uh, so the idea here let's say that uh, we need to hide this uh, section so or maybe this section and then we need to uh, make sure that the state it comes on so let's say that we have a state here or maybe uh, and normal variable where we say uh, show link and that's equal to false and here I will say I will say if the show link then I print out this element otherwise I print null or we can you say you can say print paragraph with the empty but normally you can print null and that comes to another question, uh, another uh, idea that if you if you want to show an element without uh, without an else statement, without anything you want to show, so you need to just remove all of these, and instead of the question mark, we just you need to use double uh, the template literals, where you can say normally we would say name. So it's equal to uh, John, and then when we need to print this out, we just say uh, this is the uh, the code uh, for the template literals, and then we say hello, my name is, and then we use uh, the dollar sign with the curly bracket, and we pass the name in it. So this is uh, used a lot, especially in the inside the react component and then we can uh, uh, override the string inside the react uh, inside the render in the react component so there's uh, there is a lot of uh, expression that use uh, and more complex like in online uh, calculations or function calls where we use the where we can use uh, the template literals and also use the function calls inside the is the switch statement so a switch statement used a lot by the by React in, and specifically with the Redux going through uh, all the types on, on the Redux actions and then you um, or maybe changing the state. So let's have an example. So let's say I need I have a reducer. So we'll say export default and that's uh, a function. So it's just a normal function. But that's it, it is called a uh, reducer in the React community. And then we say an action. So this is state an action. And here we will use a switch statement where we check for an action type. And here, when we say case, let's say that we have type of uh, fetching. And maybe fetching. Yeah. 
and here we return the state without um, using the break uh, here you can return the state uh, or you can just pause the state to uh, to the state and then you just say break so it's actually the same so here you can use another type well let's say fetching and here I also return the state again but this is just for an example because uh, here we don't need to return the state we just need to say maybe uh, loading is true and that's it and here we return loading is false because it's fetch success and then you, you uh, pause the payload that comes from action so action payload is type of payload and that's uh, the normal uh, state uh, the normal reducer function that will be used so uh, you can also uh, pass another uh, one when we can say failure and here we say this is also a false and then here instead of payload we say this is an error so anything comes from the payload it will be the error and then you don't need to make the default here but important to return here the state also otherwise because the switch statement will return to to the switch and then you need to return it in the end so this is also uh, the same uh, so as I said switch statement used a lot by Redux yeah. object yeah. destruction so the object destruction is the feature used a lot uh, uh, introduced and used in ES6 model in ES6 in JavaScript so uh, the main syntax is that if you have like for example an object so let's say that I have an object of animals and these animals uh, comes like for uh, let's say dog is husky or may and then cat is I don't know all the types of the cat just say cat uh, or maybe I will use here cat so like this and here dog also a dog and here I can use actually these uh, types and the structure all of these so let me use another animal so horse is horse so these are my uh, the animals so what we can do actually without uh, taking the animals so let's say that we if you want to take the dog we will say always uh, animals dot dog but this one this syntax it comes uh, long if you especially if you use the you use the string uh, literals so it will be a long send statement so what we can do actually take the before we take the elements from animals and here we can say define bring me the dog bring me the cat and something like this and we can define also another proper another name to the to this property so instead of using cat if you have like two let's say it's something like this and then I can use this cat with any so let's say uh, Katy here so now I have a two properties with the same name and values but a different name so now I can just use the catty and the cat. This one is not accessible because I used another name for it. Uh, the second thing is uh, why is this one important? Because it's uh, after the React hooks introduced. React use uh, a lot, uh, use a lot for using this uh, uh, state. So let's say that we have, uh, we will use user state here and inside our, our app. So let me take this out. So inside our app, what we need to do is use the array uh, destructuring. So object destructuring doesn't mean that it's just for for uh, object. It's also used by an array. So when we say use state, and then we can say that I want false here. So this is the value, and here you just say loading, and set loading. So that's it's uh, it's also a kind of destructuring that used inside the user state function which built in and react and then we destructure the loading and set loading they put a dynamic uh, name that you can use 
uh, for every uh, for every uh, element and it's always taking the first one as an element it is the uh, property and the second one is the function that used to modify the property so that's one of the usages so object uh, destruction doesn't uh, goes like um, just inside the function it's also used inside the uh, arguments in the in the function so uh, let's say especially in the react community in the react uh, world let's say uh, there is an props that comes up to the app and it's usually it will be like this so this props is an object that comes from another component that will be passed but what we can do because we know already what kind of uh, props we can actually use the objective structuring and I will say that I'm expecting the props to be maybe uh, a name and then uh, or maybe I will pass the uh, for the button maybe something like this so I'm expecting the props that comes from another component to be uh, to be an object because the props is always an object uh, instead of using instead of using it like this so instead of using this one so like props and then say const uh, uh, what uh, the name is a props dot name and then const is label label so that's what the destruction used for so you can actually instead use uh, use the structuring here also and you say you can say a props and then you have your name you have your label so it's a bit of the same syntax but the difference is the, that uh, you need just to write a small code a minimal code as as you can as possible and that's what uh, the destructuring will think we will have is the spread operator so the spread operator is uh, the normal syntax it will be like this so let's say uh, let's say that we have two objects so uh, first is animal again animals and the second one is uh, maybe another animals or maybe wild animals so these are uh, two here say pet so here are uh, there are the two type of animals the pet and wild animals and take out this one so here what we will do is like if you have dog and then the dog it will be like a uh, dog and uh, you have a cat here and will be a uh, type of cat so this is the two types and then we, in the wild we have a lion and you have uh, maybe a tiger so these are the different type, uh, different objects but if you want to uh, combine them it will be uh, easier just to or maybe if I want to uh, combine two of them I just need to say maybe wait here I can take the wild here and then say const animals because the animals it will take the the wild and the pet so I will use the separate operator here and then say just pet and I will also use the separate operator here and just say wild so this will iterate or this will uh, let's say extract the uh, the properties from this uh, from this object inside this one and also for the uh, second one so this is used a lot in the react uh, world and this will be applied also for arrays because uh, you can use an array inside the array so let's say uh, that we have uh, this one will goes like this or maybe uh, wait let me modify this one so this is an array then of animals like this and also for the same so i have two type of animals and but the different now they are arrays and what i can do is take the animals and then uh, use them inside uh, inside another object but i can use them also inside uh, any type so we can say that animals is equal to is an array and then I separate operator for pet here and also for wild that's also will work because they are just an array and then you just separate uh, what's inside inside this new array another thing that used uh, also a lot by the 
uh, by the React world, they will say is called REST operator, and the REST operator is the difference is the same as the separate operator, but the difference is what's called is REST. So normally it will be the parameters. So normally if you have a uh, so we said already a props that comes from this object. So if you have name and then label, so now this rest it will be an array of all the rest uh, properties that will be passed in. So these are kind of like required, and these are the optional. And now what I can do is let me bring this, uh, maybe bring the diff here, and then I say this one is rest. So here, let's say that properties that comes from uh, from another component, it's related to maybe class name or uh, ID. So these will be uh, separated to here. So the diff will have the class name and ID with the file. The other thing we will use is the array functions. So array functions, uh, here functions, not function. So array functions is used a lot by React uh, community, by React world where we can uh, iterate or uh, go. So first we will say map. So this is when we have like an array, let's say an array here, and then you use an array dot map. And that will take an element here. So this will take an element and let's say it will print this element. So for this is will iterate is like the for each. And also the, for the map, you have an index here is the same as a for each. So you have an index and you can uh, play with it and then you send the index. Uh, the second one is, let me bring this one here. The second one is called uh, the filter. So the filter lets me, let me bring some values here. So let's say, uh, so let's say that I have cat and I have dog and I have words here. And now for the filter, you just say array dot filter and that will take uh, an also a callback function where it takes the element also and this one and this element should return so this function should return to a false and depending on which kind of uh, uh, the value then you will have uh, a new array count filter so you will have a new array that without this element depending on the which condition that you will pass here so let's say if I want the element, if element equal to, and then say uh, dog here, and check which which kind of dog, it will return the, uh, the uh, an array with uh, with just an, an dog in it. So that's uh, the filter. Another function used by uh, is that find index. So. And that's what we can say that, so let's say that we have an index here and we can say array.find index and that's what also fire uh, in function. And here you just say find index. So if the index equal to dog again, so if the index equal to dog, then this will return that one. So this will return one. So my index will be the one. So this is just return the index of an element inside the array. 